Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to create this with my uh, video that I showed the other night to use the uh, polygon tool double. So we're going to take a polygon, we're going to make it eight sided, we're going to hit the control button, and we're going to hit P to put it in the center of the page. Now, you can make a duplicate of this. And then take your shape tool and bring that in and then you get these quadrants. The only problem is that when we fill in the smart fill with that and then he goes to make the rings, the rings aren't going to be equal because this thing is at such an angle. So what you need to do in this case, this is a 45 degree turn so we're going to rotate it 22 and a half and then that puts this triangle top dead center. And then we'll take the smart fill and move it over. Tell you what, I'm going to change my nudge factor to something bigger. Let's make it 12 inches. Take the smart fill tool, fill that in, and move it over. And then I'm going to left click, right click, and I am going to take an ellipse. Now, this is kind of the key here. You need to hold it. I'm trying to get to the zoom tool. You need to hold down the, put it on the center and hold down the shift and the control. The control is going to make it perfect. The shift is going to make it grow from the inside out. And then control D, hold down the shift and bring it up. Control D and then it'll just keep making these circles to your heart's content. Several ways you could do it. Um, I find it probably easiest. Let's nudge that over a little bit. Don't really need that one. And we're going to take the Smart Fill tool and we're going to fill in every other one. Now, normally I would uh, nudge them over after I'm done each time. But in this case, I'm going to take the Virtual Segment Delete key, holding down the Alt key, and anything it touches will delete. And then we want to get rid of that triangle. And actually, we want to take these and go no fill. Now, when we nudge, let's group them together, control G. And when we nudge these over, they're perfect in the spot. Now, we could go ahead and change the color of them. Then we can go to the interactive fill tool and go from the top to the bottom and change the colors to like that lighter blue or put a yellow in here. Let's go a little further and put a maybe a green right in the middle. Uh, let's go make it a little different, put a little red. So now, and that's right on that mark, so it's not really blending too much. And let's do it one more time. Let's move the, sometimes this gets in the way. Just click off of it, and click off of it and come back, get the green, put the green right in the middle. So now we have that pattern that's not very attractive, but it is grouped together so we can control D to make a duplicate and move this to the center. Doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then we rotate it 45 de degrees. 45, not 0.45. And by doing that, then go 90, you have that pattern. Now, mine was a square. I apted to uh, go ahead and, and color in that one, but then I would take my lines and you just click on them and delete them. So you get that effect. Now, the only reason that did it because I colored in the top of the deal. But the main part of this is to make, and then if you want to turn it back, let's control G and then rotate it that 22 and a half. It's just a lot easier to work up and down and not at such an angle. Hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.